Hey, it's Angela. I'm David. And I'm Simran. This week's question is, how do I deal with my roommates that aren't my type of people? I think one way to deal with it would be to really communicate all of your concerns. Um, if you don't like them doing something a certain way and like, I don't know, their things are in your area, then I think you should openly say something about it and really communicate um, that you don't like them doing that because if you're passive aggressive or if you decide to just hold things back, um, things might blow up later on. Yeah. And like bottling up your feelings is like not the way to go. Definitely. I think um, having like a whole apartment meeting or having like even just a one-on-one -on -one, uh, meeting with your roommate and being able to kind of like sit through it, um, make it formal, and then if there are any disputes, you guys can maybe um, write it out as well. I think that really helps that you guys can kind of go back to that paper. Yeah, um, yeah I think that's good. Um, I also think another thing to keep in mind is that while a lot of people do, you know, live with their best friend or someone they're really close with, it's okay if you're not best friends with your roommate you don't need you don't need to be you know live with them um you know go out with them study with them every single day take all your classes together that's fine um you know they can just be someone you know you see when you go home but um if they aren't your type of people and and you don't want to spend every minute of the day that's perfectly fine you can have friends outside and just make sure that you do openly communicate so that when you do have to see them you know because you're living with them and everything is and everything is okay. Yeah, and just being cordial, and like sometimes it, it, you do have to make compromises, um, but that all comes down to like living with other people, and you just kind of have to do that. Um, but yeah, just little compromises at a time would do like great. Mm -hmm. And just remember that um, for the next upcoming semester or the next academic year, um, you can always you know decide to live with other people. That's totally chill too. Um, a lot of people move around a lot, so don't feel burdened and stuck in one place. Exactly. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Be sure to like us on Facebook at Be Well Cal. And make sure you comment down below and we'll try to answer any other questions you have in our next videos. Stay, Stay thirsty! thirsty.